All right, folks, we're going to do a complete review of the new Milwaukee, or newer Milwaukee, um, CP high output 3 amp hour battery compared to their old 18650 cell XE 3 amp hour battery. We're going to talk about the differences, the runtime, the power difference between putting this battery in your tool compared to this battery. But let's open the Milwaukee up. All right, guys, so we got them open. Um, First time kind of really playing with one of these. Um, all right, so this has the INR22-71. All right, you got a Samsung cell in here. Um, obviously, 54 watt hours, just like our old 3 amp hour XC battery. All right, uh, besides that, obviously, you can tell the difference. Again, all you have to do you, saw, you heard me talk about this in other videos, is put them right next to each other. Two batteries that you don't know if it has 18650s or 21700s. Again, that is the size of the battery. The cell in here is a 21700, so that's the measurement. Okay, 21700 is the measurement. This is 18650. What's a larger number? 21700, right? So as you can tell, not only is the high output battery wider but it's longer okay now they call this the compact all right let's weigh them and see if it's truly compact now in size even though it's longer and wider you can see it's much shorter has a lower profile the reason is this has five one row of five cells okay uh, this has the samsung inr 30T battery, okay, 30T, I'll have specs popping up, and this has the 18650 um, INR13Q, okay, we'll talk about that more in a bit, but size-wise, as you can tell here, not really compact, as you can see, like I said, it's longer and a little bit wider, all right, but in height, Obviously, that's where the high output has an advantage. But let's weigh these two real quick. Okay. 1.338 pounds for the high output. 1.338. Okay. 1.598. Okay. So, obviously... The Milwaukee high output is lighter. Remember, one row of five cells, two rows of five cells, okay? So this has 10 cells in it compared to five, all right? Now, you might say, wow, that has double the cells in it. Shouldn't it be a lot heavier? No, because the 21700 cells, again, are bigger, longer, wider, and they weigh more. Okay, so even though this has five cells in it and this has 10 in it, there's not too much of a weight difference. All right, but this is definitely lighter.
All right, guys, we're going to do a little test. Uh, here's the three amp hour, as you can see, fully charged, green on the charger. And here is the high output compact CP3O. All right, we're going to do a little. Okay. Put her there. All right, so we're going to do a little run test, all right? So we know about the power difference, right? 35 amps versus 15 amps, you know, uh, 3,000 milliamp hour compared to a 1,300 milliamp hour. Milwaukee or these other companies can make some bigger, you know, one row packs, guys, right? We know about the core, right? The core uh, by Bosch is a 4.0, okay, with uh, five cells in it, all right? You can go up to pretty much like a five amp hour battery. Who's going to come out with that one row uh, battery? That's a 5.0. We'll have to see. Um, but right now with that technology, um, you can definitely go up to a five, maybe even more. Who knows? I don't know what what's other cells are out there. Um, but again, are you really gaining that compact size? You know, again, guys, one row versus two rows. All right. So that's where you're kind of saving, you know, the profile, right? It's just a little bit shorter. All right. But weight wise, you're not really gaining too much. All right, guys, real quick. Um, this is a 21700 cell here. Um, this is just from a flashlight, 21700 with a 4,000 milliamp hour, 40 amp battery. As you can tell, the size difference here between an 18650. All right, this is just from a Kiko. I'll tell you the easiest battery I think I've ever taken apart. Four regular screws here. Phillips. Very simple, yeah. But... As you can see, guys, yeah, see, it's even more dramatic out of this shell here, but I wanted to give you a little look at them. So these are some big cells, okay? All right, compared to, um, these 18650s, all right? That's why they're wider, longer. As you can see, they're longer. And are also fatter. All right. Now the problem, the, not not the problem. The issue with the eighteen six fifties guys is they're pretty much maxed out at fifteen amps. All right. Um, you know, there's some higher capacity eighteen six fifty that can do you know three thousand milliamp hour, four thousand milliamp hour, but they're around fifteen twenty amp. That that that's really you know the max. With these 21700s, why Milwaukee has moved to them and a lot of other companies is more amps, 35, 40 amps, all right? So it'll give the tool more pop. So we got them down, two fully charged, uh, three amp hour batteries. Again, guys, one row of five cells, two rows of five cells all right but as you just saw the size difference in the cells you know they call this the milwaukee compact battery now as you can see definitely has a lower profile you know we just talked about this but you're not gaining too much weight wise guys and as you know we've kind of weighed the six amp hour high output batter battery versus the nine amp hour um high demand battery and the six amp hour battery weighs more than the nine all right so don't always don't be always be fooled by that cp that's on your milwaukee battery here because yes size wise you know might be, have a little bit smaller profile but remember it's going to be longer and wider all right as you can obviously see here so you know you're not gaining too much all right and real quick, guys, this is a 3.0, obviously. You know, you could 
well, I don't know what company is going to come out with it first, but you know, you can get a five amp hour battery with these 21700 cells um, with one row of five batteries. What company is going to come out with it first? Who knows? Now we know the Bosch Core is a four amp hour battery with one row. All right. You know, if you get that one row, you really got a, a pretty low profile uh, battery. But, you know, you can definitely go up to a five. So we'll have to see. All right. We're going to do a little test here. We've done this test before. All right. Um, you know, real quick, the big thing, guys, with 18650s, they're great cells, guys. They're cheap as, you know, candy now, as you know. Um, but the big thing with the 18650s, guys, like I said, is, is you're pretty much limited on the amperage. 15, 20 amps, you know, you go up to these 21700s, 35, 40 amps. You know, that's why I think a lot of these companies are moving to these 21700 cells. They stay cooler also. You know, there's advantages. But, you know, the 18650, the way technology's going, who knows what's next. Um, we we know there's obviously higher capacity, you know, 4,000 milliamp hour batteries that are 18650. Um, but right now, the, the technology's kind of stalled into that cell. So we'll have to see, you know, what, what's next. But we're going to do a little runtime test here. We, like I said, we've done this test before with the nines, with the knockoff nine. All right, now this is not going to have a load, obviously. So I'm not going to be sucking up stuff. So I kind of want to make it as fair as possible. So we're just going to be doing a... A runtime test with really no load with this vac and we're going to see the time difference all right we got the three amp hour xc all right the 18650 uh battery we're going to start with that i got the stopwatch ready oh i did have it ready all right here we go all right so i'm going to start this and then start the vac and we'll be right back All right, so I had one bar with like four minutes. I don't know, four minutes, 30 seconds, and I got up to 12. So if you got one bar on your three amp hour battery with your vac, you're going to do a lot more time than you think. Uh, but Three amp hour, eighteen six fifty. Three amp hour XC battery. Twelve minutes, one second, point six four. Let's move over. All right, twelve minutes, one second with the. 3 amp hour 18650 3.0 XC. Now let's try the Milwaukee CP 3.0 high output 21700. Let's see if it can beat 12 minutes and one second. Here we go.
All right, folks. So the results are in. All right. So with your Milwaukee compact high output 3.0 21700 cell battery, you're going to get between 17 seconds, 20 seconds. That's around at 17 seconds to 20 seconds more. And again, this is obviously just using this tool. All right. So that's continuous time. Um, you know, if you're using a drill, that 20 seconds might turn into two minutes, right? Um, you know, it depends on what you're using, what tool. With the vacuum, it's 20 seconds. Obviously, nothing earth-shattering. But, you know, it is a smaller battery, all right? It's a little bit lighter, okay, over the Milwaukee XC 18650 battery. But, you know, the reason I did this... I kind of figured they were going to, you know, they're both three amp hour batteries in the whole big scheme of things. But I can tell you one thing. When I put this three amp hour battery in this vacuum, it sounded a little different. All right. Now, I'm not saying it's going to give it more suction or anything like that. I have no idea. This just ran with no load. But, you know, the advantage of the high output batteries, the 21700 cell over the XC. 18650 cell is the amount of power that it can get to your tool okay and another thing when i took this battery out um definitely not as hot or warm as this battery uh, when i took out this xc 3.0 18650 um it was pretty pretty hot pretty warm so Another advantage, obviously, is these 21700 cells stay a little bit cooler, maximizing their performance. So, you know, in, in the whole big scheme of things, guys, you have to ask yourself, you know, I'm talking strictly, you know, made up here. If you can get this battery for $35 and if you can get this battery for $75, you kind of have to ask yourself, is it worth it? Depends on what tool you plan on using the battery for. You know, the pros and cons, right? You know, let's say it's double the amount. You know, it is a little bit smaller, all right? Now, smaller in profile, but a little bit longer, a little bit wider. It does weigh a little bit less. Uh, but again, you know, you have to ask yourself what you're going to use the battery for. Now, if it's for a one of these newer fuel tools, all right, say the Recip saw, all right, you would definitely want to use this, you would maximize the performance of that Recip, you know, Gen 2 Super Sawzall um, with this battery over this battery, again, not going to gain much runtime wise, but the amount of power that you're going to add to the Super Sawzall with this battery over this battery is the main reason why you would want to get this battery but, you know, again, is it worth double the price? That's up to you to decide. But, you know, and also, guys, this is a 20-second difference with a vacuum. You know, we might run a similar test with the um, XC 6.0 battery, 18650, versus the high output, 6-amp uh, hour high output battery, 21700 cell. And with this, it might eke out to closer to a minute. Let's just double it and say 40 seconds. You know, it might be 40 to 50 seconds. Again, is it a huge difference? No, but with different tools, it might make a little bit more of an impact. But again, you're not buying these high output tool, high output batteries to really gain um, significantly on runtime with these tools. Power. It's about the power. High output. All right. Just a quick little video, guys. All right. Hope everyone's having a great weekend. We'll catch you on the flip.